What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. Happy Monday. So today we're going to be taking a look at a bronze dive watch and we have a lot of experience with bronze dive watches on this channel because I don't know, it seems like 2018 was the year of the bronze diver. And I mean seriously, we've really seen it all on this channel. We've seen some really big bronze divers like the Zelos Abyss 2 and the Pontus Hydra and then we've seen some kind of more reasonable ones like the Zelos Mako. But it seems like no matter which bronze diver I get my hands on, they're all kind of bold, maybe modern, they have offset crowns, maybe maybe multiple crowns, they have big, thick, bulky cases with ridiculously extreme water resistance ratings. And that's cool, but what if you're not into that? What if you're done with that? What if you want a bronze diver with kind of a refreshingly vintage charm? It's 3.24 p.m. Let's get down to business. So what do you think of that guys? Here in the office today on my wrist right now actually is the Christopher Ward C65 Trident Bronze SH21 Limited Edition Diver. That's a really long title. This watch was limited to 150 pieces and that's pretty cool, but I've gotten a ton of questions about this watch. So what makes it so interesting? Well, for one thing, it's 41 millimeters and I think that's totally a reasonable size. You know, no more of these huge gargantuan bronze dive watches. This will fit a multitude of people if you're big or small. Of course, I'm a big dude. I have seven and a half inch wrists, but this thing just lays super flat on the wrist. It's 12.5 millimeters thick, but honestly, it wears kind of like a dress watch. And again, when we're talking about slim proportions, uh, this bezel, very, very positive ratcheting feel. It feels really good, but the bezel doesn't protrude outside of the case too far. Again, it's kind of slim and sleek and sharp. All these kind of slim, sleek features really fit into the whole vintage aesthetic of this watch. When you look at the case, there's no crown guards. And then when you look at the crystal, it's this really high box cut sapphire. I love the look of that. So, okay, from a visual standpoint, the watch looks really cool. It's almost like a current vintage bronze diver, but I think it's what's inside of the watch that makes this piece so special. So this watch is powered by Christopher Ward's in-house SH21 movement. Now I almost said automatic because for those of you who are familiar with Christopher Ward, you'd know that the SH21 is their in-house automatic movement. But this watch is not automatic. Are you confused yet? Well, so was I when I first picked this watch up. You see, when Christopher Ward designed this watch, they actually modified their own movement to make it hand wound. So with this watch, you're getting a chronometer certified hand wound movement with a 120 hour power reserve. So you only have to wind this thing up every five days. And of course, just by looking at it, you can tell you're getting a date complication and a really cool small second dial. I love those running seconds. Again, just kind of adds to that vintage aesthetic. Now this watch does have a 150 50 meter water resistance rating, but no threaded crown, okay? Not all, but most hand wound watches do not have threaded crowns. Um, but the good news is that this crown does have some really positive retention in the case. So I really, I would find it hard to believe that this thing will pop out if you're swimming. Now, one thing that really stands out to me about this watch is you're getting a lot of information from it, right? You're getting a unidirectional rotating bezel that you can time things with. You're getting small seconds. You're getting a date complication. All these things on the watch, yet it's not cluttered at all. I mean, seriously, it's a very clean presentation. It's very easy to read, very legible. And I love, love, love the font they used on the date complication. Look at that 17. I love how they did the seven. Very cool. And because I know I'm going to get a ton of questions about it, you are getting some decent loom on here. Now it's not Seiko's Lumabrite. I don't think anyone will ever be able to beat Seiko's Lumabrite loom, but I think this is probably some form of Super Luminova. It shines pretty well. But overall, guys, just from a fit and finish standpoint, everything's very tight, tidy, and sharp. And I mean, I've spent about a month with this watch and Wearing it daily is very, very easy. Again, doesn't really feel like a diver. So guys, I've had a ton of fun with this watch. And again, I've gotten a ton of questions from people about this watch and a ton of people complaining to me that they want a bronze dive watch, but they're sick of the bulky, bold designs. Guys, believe me, I hear you, I get it, and take it from me. It's kind of refreshing to see, I don't know, kind of a more refined, elegant take on a bronze diver. And there you have it, guys. The Christopher Ward C65 Trident Bronze SH21 Limited Edition Diver. 
huge name, not that huge of a watch. And guys, as always, I wanna hear from you. So let's continue the conversation in the comment section. Leave me a comment. Do you like this watch? Do you hate the watch? Do you own the watch? I will see you in the comment section. And I gotta thank Christopher Ward, a really, really nice group of people over there at Christopher Ward Watches. I know people are gonna complain in the comment section. Guys, I am not affiliated with them. I am not sponsored by them. These are not my watches. It's just a really nice company that agreed to loan me some watches to do reviews on. And uh, yeah, again, thanks Christopher Ward. I got to speak to Christopher Ward himself and a few of his team members over there. And uh, yeah, just, just really nice to know that there are watch companies that are willing to work with and talk to normal people. Um, so yeah, I've had a blast with their watches. They've sent me three watches. If you haven't seen the review of the Grand Malvern Jumping Hour by Christopher Ward, please click the link in the description below and watch that episode. A really, really unique watch that I am very, very personally interested in. Again, I may have to keep that one for myself. And today we got to take a look at the C65 Trident Bronze and who knows, maybe next week, we will have mm, a moon phase to look at. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You'll, you'll just have to wait. So again, thank you Christopher Ward for the watches. I don't wanna send them back, but I will send them back. And thank you so much for watching the episode. Guys, I know you have holiday shopping to do, so click the link in the description below. Check out the Time Teller shop. I have watches, watch toolkits, watch straps, watch winders. Pick something up, support the channel, means a ton to me. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, go ahead, click that subscribe button. It takes one second and helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of The Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't wanna miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. And guys, we are almost at 60,000 subscribers. Six, zero, 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 zero. I am mind blown, guys. 2018 has been crazy. Never would I ever have imagined we'd be here. 2019 is gonna be a million times crazier. Guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I love each and every one of you. We are almost at 60,000. <sighs> I love you guys.